I want to show you my new freezer and I want to thank all of the patrons of this channel for making this happen. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. So now that I'm making my own homemade raw food for the cats, I've realized that the freezer that I have above my refrigerator is really too small to make more than like 10 days of food at a time. So I've been wanting to get a small freezer that can help me make more raw food at once. So maybe I can make like 20 days of raw food at a time or maybe I could even make a whole month of raw food for the cats at one time. So that would save me money but it would also save me a whole lot of time. But I don't have a whole lot of extra extra space uh, where I could put a large freezer or anything. So I found this small 2.9 cubic foot freezer. Uh, this is made by Avanti. There were several small freezers like this being sold uh, in various stores, um, but let me show you why I really like this freezer. First of all, I like it because it's small. It's the size of like a small refrigerator like one of the under counter refrigerators but this is 100 percent a freezer on the energy guide it says it is an upright freezer capacity less than 5.5 cubic feet manual defrost uh, capacity 2.9 cubic feet and the estimated yearly energy cost is 28 dollars but they say that will vary based on your utility rates and use then it says i'm a freezer take a look inside so i wanted a very basic freezer i did not want to spend a lot of money on it and what sold me on this freezer was the way that it was laid out inside and this is what it looks like inside so there's one shelf two shelves three shelves and then there is a bottom section and these shelves are like the perfect size to hold a cookie sheet. So when I make the raw food for the cats, I always scoop it out into portions on a cookie sheet and then I put the cookie sheets in the freezer. I let it freeze until it's hard enough that I could take the scoops off of the sheet pan and put them into a, a freezer bag and this layout is perfect for that there's one two three shelves three shelves that would hold three pans of the raw food it would be a perfect uh, setup for it to start freezing and then as it freezes and I put the scoops in the bags there's still room on the bottom that I could then um, put all the bags of scoops and Right now with the freezer on top of my refrigerator, I can make basically three uh, sheets of food at a time. Sometimes I could squeeze in four. So this would basically double uh, the amount of food that I could prepare and freeze at one time. Um, so right now, if I could do about 10 days of food at one time, this means I could do like 20 days of food at one time. and that would be really, really great. I would then be able to store all of the food down here. Like this would totally hold all the food, especially now because I'm making food for Hydrox also. So this would be able to um, not only help freeze the food as I'm making it, but once it's all done and it's all packed in freezer bags, this would definitely uh, store all of the raw food and then I could reclaim uh, my freezer for human food. Not that I use a whole lot of human food in my freezer, but sometimes I do. And here is the door of the freezer. There are no compartments on the door. There's nothing that you could put on the door. It's just a plain, plain door. And um, yeah, so this is the main part of the freezer and this is why I'm really excited uh, to use this freezer. I really like the layout of it. Most of the other freezers were laid out where um, the opening was on the top of the freezer and it was just like one big space in the freezer but for my purposes this is like perfect the size of it is also perfect because i have this small refrigerator uh, this is like a really old really old refrigerator so i'll have like the uh, small refrigerator for um, anything that needs to be refrigerated 
and I will have the freezer for all of the raw food. And again, I want to thank the patrons of this channel so much for your support because it was with your monthly donations that I was able to purchase this freezer for the cat's food. So I want to thank you again. And also, if anyone is watching this video and if you are not a patron and if you would like to be a patron, I'm going to put the link to where you can do that in the description below this video. Patron rewards start at $2 a month. So just by contributing $2 a month, not only are you helping to take care of the cats, but you're also helping this channel to grow. So thank you very much to the patrons. This is one of the cookie sheets that I use to uh, make the raw food with, and it's a perfect fit. It is a perfect fit for this shelf. Uh, the only problem that I have is that the cookie sheets that are a little larger than that, the ones um, that are like a full sheet pan, um, they don't fit. They actually stick out an extra inch. And I didn't measure it in the store just because I eyeballed it and I thought, oh, that looks perfect. But it is perfect for this size cookie sheet, so I just have to see um, where my other ones are and then I could just use those for this freezer. I could always still use the bigger cookie sheets for the upstairs freezer where they fit, um, but I just need to get a few more um, for this freezer and I do think I have a few more somewhere. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.